What is a broody hen, how to stop them, and why you may want to? You can tell your hen is broody because her hormones will be giving her the signal to sit on the eggs. Not just lay the egg and leave the nest, but she'll continue to sit and want to try to hatch them. When you go to approach her at the nest, she may peck at you, growl, puff up her feathers. Her body temperature will increase. She'll be really warm. She'll have a bare breast because she'll be feathering her nest. And you'll notice that there'll be feathers all over the nest. Her breast will be naked. She'll only leave the nest a few times, maybe once a day to eat, drink, relieve herself and when she's out she'll be on a war path she'll be clucking grumpy with the other girls may start fights with the other girls she could disrupt the other chickens and now we're gonna go into how to stop them and why you may would want to if they're stuck in the nest being broody they're not gonna be out here dust bathing to protect themselves from lice and mites so they could be more susceptible to falling prey to them and can suffer from anemia they also will be getting good exercise and vitamin D another danger is if they go broody in the summer the heat can kill them very quickly also if you have them free ranging they could go broody under a shed or something in the yard and you can't find them and then a predator could get them at night Sitting on eggs that won't hatch or are invisible can lead to serious health concerns. Without the baby chicks hatching under her, she may never get a signal to stop, so she may not give up on her own and could sit indefinitely, which can take a major health toll on her body. Because they are sitting for so long and they are not getting up to eat, they can get malnourished very fast. It's very hard on their body, so if there's not going to be a reward of baby chicks on the end, it may not be a good idea to let them sit because they could lose weight so fast and become malnourished. When the chicken goes broody, they will stop laying eggs. So the sooner you snap them out of being broody, the sooner they will go back to laying eggs. If they're broody for too long, the longer it will be until they start laying eggs. And broodiness can be contagious. If the chickens see one hen is broody in there, they may think that looks like a good idea and I want to do that too. And it seems like their hormones react to it, but you could if you have on your hands, you're all your nests filled with broody hens and then your egg production is gonna take and you won't be getting any eggs. Some chicken breeds are more susceptible to being broody, like Orpingtons, Cochins, Bantam chickens, Silkies especially. I think almost all the chicks that have always been hatched on my property have been from Silky moms. They make the best moms. On ducks, Mallards, Muscovies are very prone to being broody and love hatching little ducklings. Geese, guineas are very broody too and good at hatching. How to stop your broody hen? Well, basically stress and lowering their body temperature stops them from being broody. And the darkness in the nest can encourage broodiness, so make sure that they're out in the daylight seeing the sunlight in the well-lit area. Mild cases of broodiness, what you're gonna start out with the first few days when you notice your hen is broody is just annoy her, just be more persistent than her. Determined broody hens, be more determined than them. Pick them up out of the nest and place them in the run or on a roost. Sometimes we'll set ours on the chicken swing often. Just keep getting them out of the nest and annoying them. That may just snap them out of it. Try to collect your eggs often because them seeing the eggs in the nest will encourage them to want to sit on there. And then at night, don't let them sleep in the nest. Make sure when you're locking the chickens up that you grab them from the nest and place them on the roost. Just keep this up and that'll usually snap them out of it. For extreme cases, the most determined of the broodies, what we do is we use grow out pens or little hospital pens and we place them in there for three to five days, sometimes up to a week and this most definitely always snaps them out of them. We think it's so important to have a hospital pen and we go over that in this video here. We'll come and we place this in here temporarily whenever we need to use it. Here we go, Lizzie. There's some grub terra for you. Broody prison for the next few days. Get your vitamin D, girl. If you know that all your hens and your ladies are done laying their eggs for the day, another way to discourage your broodiness is to just close the coop door, block off the nest, nobody else is gonna need them, and don't allow access to the broody hen to go back in the nest. 
because I am working from home and I'm home often, if I can be out in the yard and hanging out with them, I'll take them out of their little baby prison and just monitor them and let them have free play time. But as soon as she starts running back to the nest, I won't allow her to do it. But we're just gonna keep her in this pen for a few days and that always works. In the summer months, this will be completely fine for her to just stay in here for the full however long it takes, but because it is a cooler winter month, we're going to put her in the coop to sleep at night so she can be warmed up by the other girls and be draft free. These grow up pen structures that we use work great for broody hens if you want to hatch chicks too. Whenever we have a broody hen, we put her in her nest in here and let her be broody in there to hatch her chicks. When her chicks hatch, it protects them from predators and the other flock members possibly killing the baby chicks. And if your hen is broody in the nest with the rest of the chickens, the other chickens could hop in there to try to lay their eggs and they could possibly break the eggs that the hen's being broody on. So even if you are trying to hatch chicks, it's a great idea to move her into a grow up hen anyways thanks so much for watching guys we hope this information was helpful if you want to snap your broody hen out of it and if you are going to be hatching babies we hope you enjoy your future baby chicks we'll see you next time